Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have the final of these Vite Fossil Decoration Frame Reviews, and this is one that I told you guys you would really be excited about, and I think at this point you're probably not going to call me a liar, because we are going to look at the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and obviously looking at it right now, you can see just how insanely incredible looking this is already from a distance but looking up here you can see the name tag there the Tyrannosaurus Rex and it is brought to us from Vite and Dinosaur Studios which is always awesome to see and then you've got the back there once again Vite Dinosaur Studio Tyrannosaurus Rex an absolutely incredible beautiful image of the Tyrannosaurus Rex itself while it was still alive I really really like that image the paint scheme everything the appearance just all looks beautiful and then you come down here and you've got all sorts of information on the Tyrannosaurus Rex itself so let's go ahead break this sucker out of the box and take a look at it so there we go we have it out of the box we have it set up here for us to look at as always you get the incredibly beautiful and very high quality black frame that surrounds and encases this incredible work of prehistoric art and the Rex itself just looks jaw-droppingly beautiful at this point. One thing that I will say straight away is that this is actually very heavy compared to what you had with the other ones. The other ones were much lighter but then again this one is also a good bit larger than the others. So the weight in general has just completely impressed me. I did not expect it to be quite as heavy as it is and that in turn means you know you are getting a very high quality product. Let's go ahead get a closer look at this because it just looks so beautiful I can't wait any longer. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Rex, you can see it looks fantastic. Sculpted to perfection in my opinion, and they've really nicely painted it with a dark brown and then beautifully dry brushed a very light color over it to really bring out all the detail and all the beautiful bone structure there in the skull. The skull just looks fantastic. As we move down, we start to see some of the vertebrae of the neck of the Rex and a few scattered bones as far as the arms. You can kind of see some fingers and stuff sitting out there. And then you get down here, as you follow along the spinal column, you can start to see the shoulder blades there take form. We've got the shoulder blades. There's a nice little Rex arm that is still connected to the body. And you can also see the beautiful rib cage here that's a little bit scattered throughout here and is again painted with that dark brown but insanely and beautifully dry brushed with a lighter coloration really bringing out the detail of this and making everything just pop so well then as you come up here you can again see the hip bone there look how incredible that dry brushing is bringing out the detail it looks so so nice and then you come down into the legs you can see that the legs are sculpted out fantastically it really genuinely looks like the corpse of a dinosaur sitting there and has just rotted away and is now sitting there encased in earth. It just looks amazing to me. And as you can see, it's not really like the other ones where the other ones were kind of flat and just gave you the impression of the dinosaur. This is actually coming up off of the base. You can see that the bones are uh, really realistic looking, honestly. It just really looks like they really are the bones of the dinosaur. And then you can see the foot back here. It is very nicely sculpted, some bones missing here throughout the tail and kind of scattered, and then as you run out the length of the tail, it looks awesome. Again, some more bones here scattered a little bit. That beautiful dark brown and that nice dry brushing continues all over, and it just looks incredibly realistic everywhere you look as far as this goes. And the background, the earth itself, really looks nice. It's kind of been speckled with like this whitish coloration, but you can see all the cracks and crevices and everything all throughout the ground. Very nicely hit with a wash to really bring out that detail. And uh, it really looks very legit, very real, really beautifully done overall. So the entire appearance of this is just jaw-dropping, honestly. Without question, just jaw-dropping. So even though I really, really loved a lot of the other ones, this one here takes the cake as far as my favorite because it just looks so insanely real, so insanely beautiful. It's very large and overall just looks absolutely amazing to me. This is a beautiful, beautiful work of art and rendition of a fossilized Tyrannosaurus Rex being unearthed right here in front of you. As far as a size goes, 
for a height on the frame, you're looking at about 10 and a half inches or about 26 and a half centimeters, almost 27. And for a width, you're looking at about 14 inches or about 36 centimeters. So very, very large. For a size comparison, there is our buddy the Green Papo T-Rex standing next to his fallen family member and you can see just how insanely nice they look together. This in general could make a very cool diorama to have the Rex here in front alive while its large deceased skeleton there is in the background. But again, the Papo Rex is a pretty large figure and look how insanely big this Rex skeleton fossil replica is compared to the Rex. They almost look like they're probably in scale, sort of, to each other, but again, the entire thing overall is just huge compared to the Papo Rex. And that, I think, is another one of the incredibly awesome selling points of this incredible model replica here is just how big it is. So this Vitae fossil replica is amazing. This Tyrannosaurus replica is easily the coolest fossil replica out of the bunch when it comes to these Vitae releases and easily one of the best, if not the best, as far as fossil replicas go in my collection. It is just jaw-droppingly beautiful. Overall, the appearance of the skeleton is so beautifully and well sculpted that it just looks seriously legit and the paint applied really makes it look very natural, very real and exactly the type of thing you would see in a museum. So that is another huge plus as far as the overall beauty of this set. The actual background and stone and everything that the Tyrannosaurus is encased in all looks very real, very legitimate and in general is painted so realistic that you really feel like and get the feeling that you are looking at a real Tyrannosaurus here encased in stone. It really looks like the legit real skeletal remains of a Tyrannosaurus Rex that's been pulled out of the ground, shrunken down to size, and handed to you straight from Vitae. So without question, they should be commended for how insanely well done this is. This is just ridiculously nice. So if you do want to buy this, and trust me, you would never in a million years regret it. It is that nice. I will link you in the description to this and in fact, I actually recommend you guys buying any of the previous fossil decoration frames that we looked at because they are all really beautifully done, but this Rex honestly takes the cake. It's kind of still in competition with that Archaeopteryx because that Archaeopteryx is just so beautiful and so vintage, something that really tugs at my heartstrings, but this Rex is just so beautifully done that I'm going to go ahead and say that the Rex is probably my favorite, followed very closely behind by the Archaeopteryx, but all of them are beautiful without question. So if you do want to buy this, again, check the description. I will include a link for you to go purchase this for yourself. And before you do that, make sure you please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.